Hello everyone, welcome to the Excel Pivot Table Playground series. In this video, we're going to learn the basics of Pivot Table by answering few questions and learning the concepts of Pivot Tables. So we're going to answer two questions. Find the customer count by location and gender. Then which region has most number of customers? Now this one is going to be a tricky one because the region information is not provided in the table and hence we'll be learning some concept while we are dealing with this particular question. Then the concept that we're going to cover are basics of using column and row area, manual grouping, which will help to solve the question two. Then we're going to explore pivot table design tab, and then also make the analysis presentable by looking at pivot table styles. So these are the concepts and the questions that we'll be answering in this particular example. So let's dive in. I'm going to the data tab now. In the data tab, I have customer name, location and gender. So basically there are six different locations in which a hotel is present and the names of the customers along with the gender is provided. What we need to do is summarize this information in such a way that we are able to find the first question's answer. And the next, subsequently, the second question's answer. But in the second question, notice that you don't have region information within the table. We can we look up the region information to the table and then provide the answer to the question, but we'll not be doing that because we'll learn a manual grouping example in this particular video. We'll try to create the region information after we have created the pivot table and hence answering the second question. So let's get started by creating pivot table. I'll go to the insert tab, say pivot table and click on OK. But before clicking OK, there are two things I want you all to notice. One, the source table on which we will create the pivot table. And we'll also have to select a new worksheet or an existing worksheet on where to create the pivot table. So in this particular case, I'm going to leave the defaults and have table customers along with new worksheet as a default option. So if I say OK, you'll see that I'll create a pivot table and this is how it's going to be looking like. Now, when I create the pivot table, you'll notice that you'll have the analyze and design tab. In this particular video, we'll be covering most of the concepts in the design tab. Now, the other things that we have in the analyze tab, we'll be exploring in the further videos. For this particular scope, we'll just limit it to design tab. Now, once the pivot table is inserted, you'll see that this is the pivot table area. And on the right hand side, you'll have a pivot table list. Below that, you'll have the pivot table areas. Now, row area and column area are present for putting any column names that are categorical in nature. So for example, location and gender are categorical in nature, and hence they will go into row or columns area. And anything that you want to count of will go into the values area. Note, we do not have any numerical columns within this. So how will we produce certain numbers? We'll have a look at that particular thing. Now let's look at the first question. Find the customer count by location and gender. Now, if I want a customer count, I will take customers into the values area and let's see what happens. So when I took customers to the values area, the only statistics that we can get is the count of customers. Now I got the count of customers, which is the number of rows that is present within the data. So if I do control shift select down, you'll see that I have 400 customers and that's what count of customers is giving me. Now, if I do anything else within this, like sum, it will give me zero. I'll say control Z and bring back that number. Now, remember we want find the customer count by location and gender. So let's first try to get it by location. I'm going to drag location to the rows area and you'll see I get the count of customer by location, but we also want it by gender. So I'm going to drag gender to the row area. Now it's listed one below the other. We can also try to take gender to the column area and have another perspective. I can switch these two columns and have another perspective or view to look at the same information. But the thumb rule is having location in the row area because that has the longest categories within that particular column and hence it makes sense to add location to the rows area. Now once we've got this information, we can now safely answer this question. Find the customer count by location and gender and we got that information. Now 
let's try answering the second question which region has most number of customers now notice we don't have the region information so we're going to create this region within pivot tables by doing manual grouping and how do we do that we follow this particular guideline so in this data i have also mentioned the location and which region it belongs to right this is only for reference right so how do we create this i'm going to take ahmedabad chandigarh and delhi as the north region just like the one that we have present here and i'm going to group them so how do we select it select a5 then i'm going to say control hold the control and then select chandigarh and then select delhi right so i left the control key now and i have three of them selected now these are north regions so i'm going to right click and say group and then i'll basically get all the north regions within this particular pivot table i'll select the rest of them and then say group to say group 2 now notice when we do this particular activity there will be one more column introduced here within the rows area and this is now generating another column but just within the scope of the pivot tables i can simply click the small button here say field settings and then change this to region to have the proper naming convention now once i do that now you'll notice that i have the proper naming conventions so the last thing that we will do is now name this group as north i can just simply type it and it will be changing the name there so i did north and south and you'll notice i've gotten the summary that i am looking for which region has the most number of customers right and this was obviously a manual grouping example remember if you have multiple such categories you can manually select those individual elements or categories and then group them and pivot table automatically create that column for you now let's look at some of the other concepts now let's explore the pivot table design tab now the design tab has a couple of intuitive options some of them are subtotals right so you can choose to show subtotals at the bottom of the group at the top of the group you can also turn off grand totals you can turn on all of the grand totals only for rows and only for columns for now we're just going to leave it on both of them next we can also change the report layout right i can say compact version which is the default version then i can say outline version which is going to look like this a tabular form which is one of my favorites in terms of reusing pivot tables but that will be another video and then we also have something called as repeat all items which repeats all of this item to make it a complete table and hence making it much more reusable for now i'm just going to say uh, show in tabular form and do not repeat all the item next we have the summary right we need to make it a little more presentable as per the concepts that we're going to be covering here to do that what we're going to do is first try to give some breather between each of the region summaries right so that they are visually uh, looking good for that we're going to insert a blank line after each of the subcategories and note this works only if you have two levels of columns within the rows area and that's how it sort of gets a breather to look at each of the subcategories individually and much more neatly the last things obviously we'll do is change the the pivot table format to make it much more presentable and i'll choose this for format here to make it look more presentable and obviously we are using the pivot table styles option and you can choose whatever you feel necessary that goes as per your taste now let's think if you're sending it to someone right it should be a little more presentable by you know ha having this thing gone and then removing the grid lines so that the entire focus in on this particular table right so for that i'm going to go to the analyst type and switch off the field list you can also see i have these buttons i'm going to switch off those buttons now i have these headers that are present here and i'm going to switch off those field headers also the last thing that i will do is i will change this to hash customer so that it just gives an indication of what this table represents the last thing that i will also do is go to the view tab and say grid lines uncheck grid lines and you'll see that i have a pivot table with summarized information answering the two questions that we have seen i'll also finally change this name to summary so that 
the user whenever he opens this particular file knows what to look for or which tab to look for so guys that's the concepts that we have covered so far in the basics of excel pivot table playground and while we are doing that we also answered the questions that we are looking for in the next video we'll explore time series with pivot tables thank you for watching this video guys and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel